A, do you find yourself moving closer to the TV to see? Is it hard to see text right in front of you? There are several things that can impact sight, even just plain aging, and we can't avoid that. But one condition can actually lead to blindness, and it's called macular degeneration. It affects nearly 20 million Americans and is the leading cause of vision loss in adults over 50. Our next guest might just help bring things back into focus thanks to new treatments. Dr. Amir Mosinin is with Man Eye Institute. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Man Eye Institute has a long history with eyes in Houston and you have a long history with the world of medicine. <laughs> I do, I do. It's been a long road. My parents are both physicians and uh, you know it seemed like a natural thing and it's always great to help people. Yeah, I, I started to say, I said before the, in, during the break, I said, well you had no choice. You said I actually <laughs> did have choices but it still came back around to medicine. Yes, it did. Um, yeah, I've always loved medicine. Um, I initially was, I did an MD-PhD dual program and uh, I did research on macular degeneration as well. I had a lab, a research lab on it. Yeah, what was it about eyes? So eyes, you know, it's your connection to the world. So everything that you see and is, is filtered through their eyes and that's your connection. So if things start going on, everyone values their vision and uh, it's quite important. Yeah, all right, so earlier we talked about the fact that we're getting older, so more things are happening and coming up and we're mm -hmm. seeing more things. We're outliving some body parts and we're also giving the body some time for uh, some you know, diseases and things to, to develop. So what is macular degeneration? I feel like we're hearing more about it today than we've ever heard before. Yeah, it's a condition we don't fully understand. There's a lot of work being done on it, but we don't have a cure for it. It's a condition that affects the retina, which is the film in the back of the eye. So the image that you're seeing now shows that light is focusing uh, down through the front of the eye onto the back on that orange thing, which is your retina. Mm -hmm. And this right here is a model of the eye. So when light comes in here, it goes through the cornea, the lens, and then it focuses in the retina. The central part of the retina is called the macula, and that's the part that's responsible for our our fine vision and that's unfortunately the part that macular degeneration affects mm -hmm. so it affects your ability to read see faces your loved ones and function and it is like you pointed out the leading cause of vision loss in adults over 50. All right there's a couple of types dry AMD Right, so dry macular degeneration is how it first starts, and that's a, the most common form. There's about it's about 80 percent of all macular degeneration, so eight and ten will have that, and it starts with asymptomatic. So you may have no symptoms whatsoever and have macular, and then these kind of deposits accumulate under the retina called drusen. They can result in thinning of the retina and vision problems. All right, and then wet uh, macular degeneration. Yeah, wet is the other type, and that's the more advanced type. So fortunately, it's only two out of ten will develop wet but that's the one that can cause sudden severe vision loss uh, where there's fluid and bleeding behind the retina affecting the vision. Yeah. When we say who's at risk you mentioned um, just you know 50 plus right mm -hmm. aging but what are some of the other things that can just play a factor in this? So age is the big one like you pointed out uh, genetics it tends to run in families there's multiple genes involved and then there are lifestyle things as well so uh, smoking healthy cardiovascular system being overweight, all of these things can affect uh, macular degeneration, yeah. sun exposure as well. When you mention that there's oftentimes no symptoms with one of them in particular, mm. which says to me that you need to get checked before symptoms show up, is this a, a, an extra test that you have to ask for if you go visit an eye doctor? Or obviously, I think you probably have to visit a specialist, right? So, uh, eye doctors can. Uh, diagnose it. The important thing is to get a dilated eye exam and that means your pupils get dilated. Mm -hmm. uh, a doctor looks into the back of your eye and there are special testing, especially retina specialists do on, as myself uh, on a regular basis, but your regular eye doctor can at least get the ball rolling. Yeah, and speaking of getting the ball rolling, like many things, early detection matters. Yeah, and that's the, the main kind of goal uh, is to get people to understand that early intervention, early examination leads to better outcomes. So we have a better chance of keeping you seeing if we diagnose things earlier rather than you coming in with a year of blurry vision and it's uh, harder to get fixed. Yeah, you mentioned taking part in those research programs and looking at new treatments and things. So with wet AMD, how would that theoretically be treated depending on what your situation is? So for wet macular, we have injections that we do. These are antibody injections into the eye. It sounds horrible, but it's not as bad as you think. Um, these antibody injections are given 
even monthly until all the fluid and bleeding is gone and then we extend the time between it and so people can oftentimes recover vision or at least keep it stable yeah for dry there's a new FDA approved injection that can slow it down at least right? yeah and that's within the last few years now for uh, for patients with geographic atrophy where you kind of have these dead spots in the retina so when you're looking at thing you're missing a piece and so the injections for dry macular will slow down the rate of growth of that loss so you don't get better but it just kind of keeps it more stable yeah and photobiomodulation so that is a kind of a new therapy that's just been uh, recently authorized for use in the US. It's been in um, Europe longer. And I'm pretty excited about this one because it's non-invasive. So it's not an injection, it's not laser, and it's literally just five minutes of light therapy on the eye. And in the studies, even though it was small, showed that patients got improved vision with this therapy. So this is the only thing that we've ever had for dry macular that actually makes thing vision better. Yeah. And uh, we've started treating patients and I can tell you I had one patient who she couldn't see the eyes of the person across the table from her and after the treatment now she can so it's kind of amazing and great to see people do well so yeah. I'm pretty excited about this yeah the goal of course is like if we could avoid it altogether absolutely uh, not there yet but not at least there. delay it or, or improve your situation that you're in at the time yeah the whole goal is to try to keep you seeing longer and as people are living longer um, you want to maintain that vision and so these kind of early treatments uh, can oftentimes be beneficial. So in terms of prevention, I can relate to what you said earlier, some of the things that cause it. So a healthy lifestyle obviously mm -hmm. uh, makes sense. Uh, green leafy vegetables, we know the Mediterranean diet yep. is a good one. Don't smoke. Mm -hmm. um, take A-R-E-D-S, Arids vitamins, if the, uh, recommended by your doctor. What kind of vitamins are those? So these are over-the-counter vitamins that have been studied by the National Institute of Health to show pr slowing down of the disease. So it redux reduces the disease about 20-25%. Um, you won't notice improvement, but it slows it down but the important thing is you know there are specific criteria for taking the vitamins so not don't everyone just go load up don't on just yeah. go <laughs> taking yeah. it yeah. You, you have to meet a certain and not even all macular degeneration patients are supposed to be on it yeah and another one is control blood pressure cholesterol and blood sugar that should just be happening all the time right, right. Uh, right. but also even wearing sunglasses outdoors yeah there's associations with uh, UV exposure and sunlight that uh, so I always tell my macular degeneration patients sunglasses when you go out when you can yeah bottom line is like you said there's not a cure for it but you can delay lay things and make it much more comfortable. So don't assume the vision loss is just aging. Uh, come in and get the proper exam so you know where you are. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. To see life better and more clearly, schedule your regular eye exams, especially a dilated eye exam once a year after age 50, even if your vision seems to be fine at the moment. It's the best way for your doctor to catch early signs of macular degeneration before symptoms appear. To make your appointment or get more information, give Man Eye Institute a call at this number right there on your screen, 713-5 580-2500. Again, that's 713-580-2500 or visit them online at maneye.com and man is spelled with two N's. They have multiple locations in the greater Houston area.